From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Dennis' Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, hello everyone. If you are new to Weather NorCal, welcome. I want to thank you for joining me and of course, of course, coming with everybody else and enjoying what Weather NorCal has to offer you. Quite honestly, the best source of weather information because it's weather when you want it, where you want it. You can always, from your phone, from your TV, from your uh, computer, watch my latest weather forecast. And you may, you may have noticed I mentioned it TV. Yes, if you have a smart TV, if you've got YouTube on your TV, you can watch the 24-hour streaming channel that you see here. You've got, of course, the, the main screen here with the, all the information that you need. And of course, on the left side, we call this an L bar, if you will. It's got several seven-day forecasts it goes through here, current conditions as well. So be sure to check that out. It's on YouTube if you have a smart TV or YouTube anywhere. But also, if you have Roku or Amazon Fire TV, you can watch it on your smart TV. And eventually, it will be coming to Apple TV as well. So check that out. You know, I think it's a really great resource for you, especially if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to really sort through the news. You just want to know what's going on with the weather. Put this on in the background and not only will you see my latest video forecast for the morning, but you'll also have neighborhood forecasts in there and a lot of the other information that may be important for you, especially if you're going out to or say traveling somewhere in our local area, you'll know what to expect. So check it out. I think it's going to be something that is going to be a great resource for a lot of people. All right, here's the deal. You know, we look outside today and it just looked like it was going to rain, but really overall, we just didn't see anything. Now tomorrow, there is a better chance for showers across the board but for many of us, it's still not going to be much. And you'll see that here in a second. But the cool and unsettled weather pattern is going to stick around through the weekend. Snow levels between three and 4,000 feet. But by early next week, especially Monday, Tuesday, it's looking fairly dry. So let's get you through the night tonight and into tomorrow morning. You've got the clouds for the North Coast. And I do expect to eventually see some showers by the morning hours for the North Coast not to mention inland and possibly even into Trinity County. Again, you can see overnight, not that bad, but as we go into the morning hours, you start to see some of those raindrops falling from those clouds. Let's take you out to the North State and for the Valley. Now, what I'm expecting here is the fact that we'll be looking at dry conditions probably for the first half of the day. Then by around noon or so, the Valley, Siskiyou County could all be looking at some of those showers beginning to move in. And then not to mention the Eastern Mountains probably later on in the day as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the air alert as well. I wanted to mention this because this is continuing through Thursday and this is essentially a, uh, a temperature inversion where the temperature increases with height, it acts as a cap and it essentially just kind of traps any pollutants. So during these air alerts, it's usually just recommended that you don't do a lot of uh, wood burning, especially those wood stoves. I mean, you can still use them, but just maybe keep it at a minimum and probably avoid burning wood outdoors altogether. And again, this is through Thursday, uh, so just kind of bear that in mind if you do have a wood burning stove. There you can see as we go through the morning. Now the morning, you actually start to see some of the snow flurries begin to develop especially off into the Southern Cascades and Northern Sierra. I mean, maybe even for parts of uh, uh, Siskiyou County as well. But notice it's still dry in the valley. And really, we're just beginning to see some of the light showers begin to make their way into the North Coast. Let's take you into the noon hour. Here's the main cold front right here. A lot of those snow flurries will start to kind of break apart through the morning hours as the main cold front begins to push through. This cold front, as it moves over the mountains, will, as we would typically expect to see, break apart. So the bulk of the rain will be to the north and the west, not to mention that snow between three and 4,000 feet. There you can see some of the showers that we could see in the valley. At this point, I'm not anticipating anything terribly heavy. 
uh, for the valley, but there you can see some of that snow. So Mount Shasta City, yeah, you can see some snowflakes, not to mention Bernie, El Turris, uh, Susanville could see some snowflakes as well. But is it going to be a lot? I don't think so. Are we going to see a lot of accumulating snow on Mount Shasta City or Bernie? Probably not. Okay, so now we're going to go into Thursday evening, and there you can see again some more snow flurries, especially off to the east, and some light snow flurries off in Siskiyou County. But it's beginning to dry out again for Thursday evening in the valley. Now we're going to take you into Friday. So we're going to kind of be between systems Thursday night and Friday morning. And by Friday morning, here's the next weaker cold front. And the energy with this one is actually going to stay a little bit more to the north than the one we'll see on Thursday. You'll see that here as we push through time. Here's the noon hour. See how most of the activities to the north and to the west heavier snowfall making its way into southern Oregon. But snow level is still probably somewhere around 3,500 feet, give or take, and the heaviest rainfall off to the north and west, especially in Del Norte and northern Humboldt counties. Now, notice by 4 p.m. on Friday, you see how it kind of just clips the valley? So Redding may see a stray shower Friday afternoon, maybe even close to the evening hours. And of course, we've got the tr Christmas tree lighting. I don't think even if we do see any of these showers that they'll be very heavy. So I wouldn't cancel those outdoor plans to be out there. There you can see some of the snow here. This could create some problems if you are going to be traveling in the higher elevations in that region around that time on Friday. Let's take into Friday night things are starting to kind of dry out again. We're between systems. But as we go into Saturday, Sunday, more systems coming in. We'll get into that in a second. How much rain can we expect through Friday? Well, this is kind of what I was kind of uh, alluding to the fact that, you know, we do have these chances for rain in the forecast the next several days, but most of us just aren't going to see much. Most of it, as we would expect with these systems, will be in the north and west for the north coast. But, I mean, we're only talking a few hundreds at best for many of us in the valley. And, of course, to the east of that, not a lot either, which would, of course, also equate to not a lot of snow either. So we could possibly see some light very light accumulations at some of these lower elevations like Mount Shasta, uh, maybe Aden, El Turris. You could be looking at about an inch of snow as well, but it's not going to be a lot. And of course, you can see less than an inch for Susanville, Chester, and Quincy. So yes, I think we could see some of that snow make its way down to those lower elevations, but it's not going to amount to much. You have to go up pretty high in elevation before you start seeing anything semi-significant in that snow total. But that, with, with that said, that is going to create some travel delays and travel concerns. Now, we take a look at the long range here. Here's the next system coming in Saturday. It's going to take a while on Saturday. So I think, you know, for the lighted Christmas parade, I think it'll be okay here for Reading. There you can see most of the rain is up to the northwest. Now, it pushes through as we go into Saturday night and Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon around 5 p.m., yet another system that will try to push through. Now, high pressure is going to start to build in early next week and push most of that rain up to our north, and we're dry. Now, the latest forecast models are bringing in the next chance for rain after that, next Wednesday and next Thursday. Kind of a lot to process there, but as you see, we do have a wet weather pattern moving in, but for the most part, there's just not a lot of rain and not to mention snow coming out of these systems for most of us as we go through the next several days, really over the next seven days or so. With the exception, obviously, of the, of the Northwest, right? I mean, we're talking four, five, six inches of rain there in a matter of six days, and you get a little bit less as you head southward into Humboldt County, but this is where the main concentration of rain is. You see less and less as you head down to the south and to the east. Wave heights for your Thursday. You can see that they will increase a little bit here as these systems begin to approach between 9 and 10 feet, and they'll probably get even a little bit higher here as we take you into your Friday. So your marine forecast for your Thursday. Those winds will be from the west at 5 to 15 knots, waves from the southwest at 2 feet at 7 seconds, and from the west at 5 feet at 13 seconds, and we've got those rain showers in the forecast. Here's a good forecast for tonight. It's cooling off a bit. You know, if we get enough clearing, we could drop to right around or close to freezing. Otherwise, with the cloud cover in place, that should keep those temperatures mid to upper 30s in the valley, looking mainly in the 20s because of the added cloud cover. Not a lot of teens in the forecast overnight tonight for the eastern mountains, but still cold nonetheless. Upper 30s for the inland areas and looks like in the low 40s out along the coast with that rain coming in late tonight and early tomorrow morning there. Here's what our forecast looks like for your Thursday. 
everyone will eventually have a chance for some form of precipitation. Just most of it will be to the north and west when we could see some of those snowflakes off into the eastern mountains and really in the mountains in general. Although places like Weaverville, Hayfork, I think you'll be mainly in the form of rainfall. Let's take a look at your seven day outlook. So I've got the snow levels in there, but again, keep in mind, this is not going to be a major storm system for any of these particular locations. It's the highest of elevations, five, six, 7,000 feet, that you'll start seeing more of that significant snow. But you can see temperatures are going to be on the cool side as well, only in the 30s and 40s, mainly the 40s, uh, for the next several days for those daytime highs. Now, I've taken the wording out of showers and more in the way of chance for showers, because as you saw through Friday, um, everyone in the valley is going to see anywhere from just you know a few hundredths of an inch of rainfall, and that's really going to be the extent of it. Now, as we go into Saturday, Sunday, probably tacking on another few hundredths of an inch of rainfall. It's not going to amount to much. We dry things out Monday, Tuesday, and then it looks like by next Wednesday, we could see another round of at least another chance for showers moving in. Looking at your seven-day forecast for the coast, you've got the off and on chances for rain as well. Now, for the coast through Monday. When we see a break, it will be next Tuesday before we see another shot coming in Wednesday. However, I think the inland areas and, and Trinity County will be looking at that break on Monday and Tuesday with another chance for showers by next Wednesday.